Hi, I'm Derek, and today we'll be discussing how SOLIDWORKS simulation can help the designer make more intelligent decisions earlier in the design process. Did you know that up to 80% of the cost of a product's development is determined by the decisions made early in the design process? This means it is critical to get simulation into the hands of the designer as early as possible so that they can implement the correct design decisions from the beginning. Simulation is an easy to use tool that does not require a PE to run. Its clean interface allows for easy setup and quick product validation studies during the design. Setting up the fixtures, loads, and mesh can be completed in minutes. After running the study, SOLIDWORKS Simulation allows you to animate the displacement in the model as well as interrogate other common plots. Factor of safety plot is another common result to look at. Simulation is not limited to static studies on metal parts only. Simulation offers packages including functionality to study dynamics, nonlinear, thermal, buckling, frequency, linear dynamic, pressure vessel, topology, and even drop test. These are not limited to parts only, but can be run on assemblies as well. Simulation offers a number of tools to optimize your design, including topology studies. These studies allow you to specify the loads and fixtures, and simulation determines the best fit design for you. In a recent study by Aberdeen Essentials, they asked over 500 companies to identify problems associated with prototyping. 65% of the respondents address that the time and cost required to build a prototype is a major problem. A prototype is something you build to see whether something will work, and a simulation is something you build to see whether something will break. Ideally, only one prototype phase needs to be completed at the end. This allows the prototype phase to validate the design instead of determine points of failure. Reducing the amount of prototypes required throughout the design cycle can be a dramatic reduction in time and money. When you put simulation into the hands of the designer, it reduces the amount of revisions required due to the fact that they can assess the designs on the fly instead of relying upon prototypes. When the designers wait on the prototype testing, it results in an ECO. On average, a component redesign takes roughly 17 days to process. What if you cut down on the amount of ECOs or revisions of your design even by one or two? Would you gain 17 days like the average? Statistics indicate that 73% of organizations don't even know the actual cost of ECOs. What are excessive design changes costing you? I appreciate you taking the time to check out this video, and if you'd like to know more about SolarWorks Simulation, please reach out to your local CAD Dimension sales representative. Have a great day.